Hey everybody, it's Jay Dacian Mo here. I'm here with another video. I actually am making this video because I just released my Google AdSense course on my website and it's free. So you can actually go ahead and check that out and register for it. I actually made a video also showing you guys how to register for it the right way so that way you can actually see all the units that's included inside the course. Um, for this video, I'm actually going to go actually try to add my other site to my Google AdSense to generate more money. That's another way that you can actually use to make more money when it comes to your um, Google AdSense account. It's basically add more, more sites. So as of right now, I have two sites. Um, I had another site with my magazine, but I haven't used that in a few years. So I'm actually going to rebrand that, and then over time, uh, after I rebrand it, I'll add that again as well. So that way, I'll make even more money. And this way you can make, really there's no limit to how much you can make because at the end of the day, Google AdSense, the way they work is you make money by getting people to come to your site. So if you get more, the more views you get on your site, more views on your videos, the more money you make. And that way you don't have to worry about trying to clickbait anybody into actually clicking on the actual ads themselves. Because that's another thing too that Google AdSense doesn't, doesn't like that. They don't really want you to do that type of thing. So um, what I'm going to do is actually going to go through this whole process. I'll show you my Google AdSense account first of all. This is the account, and of course, it shows you um, what, how much money I'm currently at right now for the month before I cash out because you know I have to actually have a hundred dollars or more to cash out, and it's probably going to go up from this as well. Um, mostly because my YouTube videos they make a lot of money from me, I and mean, we must swear to where most of my earnings come from is my YouTube videos. So, I'm trying to make sure that my website is also as profitable. So, um, but it, it should be with the the courses that I actually release because from off the bat is actually all these numbers have been going up because of it. So, um, let me see, and then I go to my performance reports. And give you an idea of what it's looking like. And then this way it gives you an overview of the the days. See how much money you made per day. See what I mean? As far as this one, I made a whole dollar that one day. I think that was the, they actually released the course and started really promoting it. So um, that's, that's really the, what the the big thing is: is make sure that you get your information out there, promote it as much as possible, and you'll be able to see the earnings come to you. Okay, so now uh, that I did that, let me go ahead and go to. Let me see, cause I want to add a website. Mm. All right, here we go. All my sites right here. Okay. So now what I want to do, because this is not the actual area I want to be in. So I just continue you blocking them. Mm -hmm. This basic block has is pretty much up at you. Now, this area, I'm actually going to show you guys how you can use it as well, um, but it won't be right now. My sites. There we go. So I had to go through settings and then go to my sites. Now all I want to do is type in. I'll click here to add the site. Okay. It has to be my graphics website, which is this one right here. All right, and this is where I actually do my graphics at. Um, so I want to add the these two. I'm gonna add my ads here to my blog. Okay. 
And as you can see on the sides, this is where I got all my information. At. That's where I actually want to put the ads at. Let me on the sides. Of course, I want to add them to the top and the footer as the header and the footer as well, which these should be perfect locations. And of course, that's usually where I would advise you to start it. If you want, um, first place you want to start it is put on your sidebar right here, on the side of your blog or side of your pages. And then, if you can, go ahead and add it to your their header, and go ahead and also add it to the footer. That way, you can get a lot of clicks and views on those. And then also, when you get somebody to click on your actual post. You can put it inside the post itself. So, for example, right here, this video, what I would do is I would add the, the ad up under the video. You know what I mean? So that way to get to get more views and more hits on that as well. So definitely continue to check that out. Um, but I'm actually going to show you guys again again what I'm actually going to do as far as adding this site goes. So I went in for my URL and put add site. So this is verified. Now, uh, now what I would do is get it to the back, get it to the back end of my website. And if I remember correctly, um, Go to dashboard. Now with this one, gotta make sure that my AdSense is actually up here. Or if it's not, we're gonna go ahead and add that plugin. Let's see. I'll take that. So it's not up here yet. So what I would do is go ahead and, and add. Let's update that. Update that. Update that. Update that. Update that. So these are updated already. Usually, if you're on um that one, not really worried about. Update that. Um. If you're on um, WordPress, you want to make sure that you update your site pretty often because they're gonna have changes. So wait for these to update. And if you want to do, they look like this. So they update like this. Alright, doing that, doing that, perfect. So now, I've got to go ahead and add the Google. So this is what you'll do. You're going to go ahead and follow what I'm doing right now, so that way you can get the right plugins. Okay. So the first thing you want to do is, of course, there's going to be the three different ones you want to get. So the first one I'll tell you to go ahead and download would be the Google AdSense dashboard. Okay, which will be this right here. Go ahead and click install. And if, let me see if the other ones are available here. Now, I sometimes add this one as well, but it's up to you. So, what I would do is actually go ahead and click install on that as well. And then, let's see, there's another one. Before we activate these, we'll do that through the actual plugins. Uh, let me see, it's easy. AdSense ads. I'm supposed to say ads and scripts. Easy ads ads. There's a lot of these, so that's why I'm gonna, I usually have a specific idea of what I want to use. Hmm. 
Okay, so it might be this one. So let's go ahead and click that one. Oh, and the earnings dashboard that way you can get an idea about that as well. Uh dashboard. Well, that's it. Now the earnings dashboard actually might be the same thing, so let's go ahead and leave that the way it is, and go ahead and activate these plugins. I'm gonna put it right here. So here we go. Uh, let's see, let's need this one. So you can activate add inserter. You can also activate the easy Google Adsense. And also, go ahead and activate the Google AdSense dashboard. Now, with these, they're either going to show up on the sides, like this right here Google AdSense or Earnings dashboard. So, what we want to do is going to go ahead because we actually need to go ahead and, and, and include the code. So, let's click one of these right here. So, do easy Google AdSense. Okay, so here we go. Enter the publisher ID. So now we're using the same account because this is another thing, too. If you're gonna have multiple sites for Google AdSense or have multiple sites, period, don't try to get multiple Google AdSense accounts. Just go ahead and, and put them all on one account so that way you can go ahead and just get that to maximize as much as possible. So now what we're looking for is what I say was the code? Publisher ID. Alright, so that would actually be let's see. I still have a few here with this publisher ID right here. I'll copy that. Into that here. Save changes. Alright. As far as I know, that's it for that one. Okay, and then you want to go to the earnings dashboard. But I'll go ahead and stop the video here. Um, cause the time for this one is actually getting ready to run out. So I'll come back and I'll we'll do continue the rest of it.